Hello guys, it's Sean Thomas here. Welcome back to another low loader video. Today we're all loaded with two cars and an electric motorbike. Here we can see just down the back here. And first off, we're heading up to the yard to of course drop everything off and then get reloaded for going down south. Let's get in to this week's video. Alright, so now in a fucking digger, we're about to drive a digger. So, uh, we'll see how this goes. It's all the machine to be a sensitive there. Let's see. Right. You've always got revs as well, right? Uh huh. But. What the fuck are they doing? I don't know where that one Oh, this one, this one here, right? This particular machine. Oh, it's got a very fancy gun. Where'd I get my rotor tilt? Ha ha ha! It's a bit bumpy. That's very quick. They just wait till it's level and go. Ah, that's weird, man. I think the controls that get yourself a wee bit more of it because they're a bit of a good something. Quite like it, do you like my digger? <laughs> <laughs> Rough as horses, man. Teach me. Alright, okay, okay. It's getting a thing half and it is better on, by the way. Alright, right, I got it. So boom up like that. And this? Alright, right up. Spin room. Oh, spin room? I'll wait for the scanning, aye. Right? <laughs> oh, sh oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Well, that's you, but. That day there. There's some in that side, but. Is that what you need to do then? That wee bit. Turn her off. <laughs> Done. Come on then. So that's us loaded. Well, we've been loaded. We loaded a digger and a dome. We've now tipped the dome. Now it's time to go tip the digger. No been doing much recording because I'm a wee bit nervous uh, recording around people. But anyways, we're ready to drop the digger off at Kinross now. And then probably on the next thing. I'll tell you something by the way, this shed. High as fuck. No high as and high as and off the fumes. But I have to drive through that now. Oh, you'll never guess what I'm back in, man. It's not a pingouser either. <laughs> anyway, it's a little bit. <laughs> it's a pingouser! Oh, I have a horn. <laughs> right. It's a pingouser! I'm going that way! Yeah. <laughs> This thing's a fucking beast, man. Get a wee, wee bit of the old reverse game into D6. Fuck, oh, away we go. <laughs> <laughs> can not drive with the blue beeps on, but I don't get it, tell me. Oh, fuck, the brakes are shite. <laughs> yes, mate. Here we are, back in the fucking fire engine. It's actually quite fast, hey, by the way. <laughs> Making off a of weird noises, but. Oh, fuck, here we go. <laughs> oh Jesus, you know Jeezy thinks she's a bumpy bitch. <laughs> I fucking love this job, man. And Jeezy peeps. Come on, darling, what the hell? Oh, Jeezy peeps. Oh, Jeezy peeps, man. Jeezy peeps. Oh, Jeezy peeps, it's no sound to get. What the brakes are, man? It's up in Gouza. <laughs> oh, 
She's our bomb deal. Well, fucking hell, mate. I just chill out. He's like, fuck. There's buttons, but I don't have a case in fuck all. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, fuck me, man. Oh, she's a rough bastard, man. Holy f Driving, f driving this fast from the emergency, by the way. What the fuck? It's a fin I'm loving this, man. Ah, shit. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's up in Gaza! Oh, GG peeps, man. <laughs> Come on, G60. G60. Ah, oh, 55 on the dot, man. Emergency. <laughs> the looks I'm getting all full, man. Oh, God. Jesus. It's, oh, it's a rough ride, by the way. It is a rough ride. <laughs> it makes a siren noise. Well, it does it automatically, by the way, we wouldn't even do it. It's a Pengouza! <laughs> oh, shit, that bad, I just got a loose wire. Just genuinely putting the fucking. The. Without actually me pressing it. This is it, Dana. <laughs> the looks I'm getting off a boat, by the way. Oh, God. Jeezy peeps, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some state. <laughs> Can I put all these beacons on? I think it's only got two in the front, isn't it? It's heavy disappointing. Oh. Got a couple. I that. that needs to get loaded as we were on a Geo's motor. Good tidy Viking man. Tidy Viking. <laughs> it's a pan gouza. <laughs> oh, I love this job man. It's fun as fuck isn't it? So we look inside it. No, no, we'll never look inside it. Oh and here we are back at the yard now it is very dark but wait, that's because we had to spend the wee hour and a half getting that started again there's a wee problem with it but we're sorting it nonetheless and now that it's dark i thought let's take advantage of this darkness let's get a wee bit of a light parade back on the back of this shit wagon so just gonna jump around and switch it on oh, all right so that's the beacon <laughs> forgot how high that was up there holy shit, man there's the beacons on on the old fire engine and now we can see a wee bit better we on beating up the top get better bullies Room at the back, and of course, the ones up the front. You can see my hell a lot better now that it's nice and dark. Let's go, let's right, let's turn the big sanky up. No sanky, are they on? Fuck, man, look at this one, doesn't have any beacons. No, I don't think it has beacons. What it does have, though, I know you can't see much. It's quite fun. It's one of these wee horns. You ready? Oh no, wait. Oh, I love this job. So there we have it. 
There's the end of day one there. End of day one. Nice and easy. We'll be back again tomorrow, obviously. Deliver them back down the road. So, we'll see you in five seconds. All right, so it is the next day, and now we're heading to Newcastle. So, unfortunately, we're not uh, driving down two units like I originally planned. It was meant to be me and another boy, who was Jill. Um, but that's not happening now. His trailer is needing a couple wee bits, so that's nice and road legal and Bosa friendly. So I'm just going to be driving solo, but I'm sure he'll catch us up at some point in this episode or maybe the next part of the videos. Let's get to Newcastle. All oh, right, so there's a wee bit of a mix up with the crane job, so it turns out we're not doing that now. So we don't need to tip the vehicles in the back and then reload them again. We're just going straight down to Bedford to drop off the ambulance and then the fire engine down in Oxford so we've just got lunch on the go now I've just stopped for a wee 45 minutes break here as you can see I only had 27 minutes left to complete another four hour journey so I thought we'd pull in get a wee bit of uh, lunch and then fire on speak of the devil all right 31 minute break done lunch had we have four hours to drive and we get it at seven o'clock so let's get into it this is never a good sign we are pretty much on a standstill on the A1, which is very annoying. I think I'm going to try and get out and get down a bit. Because we have more hassle. At least we're in the outer lane this time. All right, so just before we run out of battery, we are on 1%. We have dropped the fire engine. And as you can see over here, there is the Land Rover that we dropped as well in this yard. And this yard is cool as f there's machines lying everywhere it is awesome quickly do a little quick and then after that we've got an hour and a half to head up to oxford and then drop the fire engine off that we took off there and then reloaded obviously to get the ambulance off so see you all in a bit there's old military stuff everywhere and that is the machine that we just delivered just there right let's get to oxford hasn't it half awkward getting out of this place man look at this don't think i'm uh, i don't think i'm getting that turn to be honest it's amazing what a wee shunt can do that's much better much better loads of room right on to oxford that was probably one of the tightest yards i've ever done yet i mean maybe it doesn't look tight but well if you ever watched the first episode of when we had this fire engine you'll remember this gate here that we're coming out of now now we're going back into it with the fire engine on the back and that is its trip to Scotland finally over you can see just over the distance here the flashing lights that's Geo with the army truck so let's go up there let's see what's happening now we can just flex on a nice new lights because I don't think Geo's seen just how bright these fuckers are yet ready for this? night time day time there we go here he comes absolute professional the old man, man. I can't bear <laughs> hey, that's a good load by the way the night the industrial estate as you can see there nine hours and 51 minutes drive time so we need nine minutes to spare and then tomorrow we'll go to get again together and work again so we're just in a wee nine and we'll get our dinner ready fucking jobs are good and i'm absolutely knackered can up the old volvo uh, all right so it's one in the morning we're out for a, a wee bit of food and a wee beer too and that's us done for the day so anyways thank you very much for watching another episode hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to rate comment subscribe and as always we'll see you guys in the next video i'm really tired goodbye